The Quick Selection tool is a giant leap forward in making selections of real life objects. In fact, it's downright awesome. Let's open up an image. We'll go back to our Chapter 4 folder, and this time we'll open up the image titled Quick Select. I'm going to hit F to go into full screen mode. I'm going to do fit to screen with Command 0 on the Mac, Control 0 on the PC, just to get the image size a little bigger. And we're going to go to our Tools panel and locate the Quick Selection tool. It's this brush with the little selection spilling around it. The shortcut for that tool is the letter W. Now I've got a brush size selected, but it is very small. You can see that as my cursor is over the screen, basically I just see four points. If I go up to the Options bar and click on the Brush Size Options, I can drag the size, here it's at 15, I can make it much larger. Now that's one way to change the brush size. Here you can see I've got a bigger brush, but it's still too small. What I'm going to recommend is a shortcut to change the size of the brush. On your keyboard you have left and right bracket keys. If you press the right bracket key repeatedly, you continuously increase the brush size. If you press the left bracket key, you reduce the size of the brush. The beauty of this method is that you can actually see the size of the brush as you're adjusting it. Also in the options panel, I want you to make sure that you have this auto enhance box checked. Over here to the left, we have three painting modes and we want to be on this middle mode, which is the add mode. Now what I want to do in this image is select the background and leave the subject alone. With the quick selection tool, all you have to do is start painting. I'm going to simply paint over this background area starting on the sky and look at that already it selected the sky and left our subject virtually untouched. I'm going to come down here to finish. Now notice that as I drag down to the left it has spilled over and captured some of our subjects arm. And this is the beauty of the quick select tool. Right now my circle has a plus in it that means we're in the add mode. I'm going to reduce the brush size a bit and if I hold down the Option key on the Mac, Alt key on the PC, that plus changes to a minus. This is going to subtract from our selection. So now I just paint over the area that was included by mistake. And now I'm going to continue painting in my Add mode. I'll come down here on the right side of his body. And I'm going to zoom in to make sure I get this area as well. My brush size is much too big for that. And again, I'm reducing the brush size by repeatedly pressing the left bracket key. This is a much better size here. I'm going to come in. And because I've got auto enhance on, as I let go of the mouse, Photoshop does its best to try to make my selection even more precise. That looks pretty good. I'll try to get this one little spot up here in the top. That's not bad. I've got a little bit of spill over here on the edge, so I'm going to go into my subtract mode with the Option key on the Mac, Alt key on the PC, and that looks pretty good. One last area down in the bottom that I want to get to. I'll paint in here with a little bit bigger brush size. And finally, this last area of green, but I'll take out some of this. I think this is part of the chair he's sitting on. Looks pretty good. Now we've got a selection of the background and we're leaving the foreground alone. Well what can we do with this selection? Well one thing we can do is use an adjustment on this. We talked about levels and curves. Let's go up to the image menu, go down to adjustments and we'll bring up levels for this example. Now because I have selected an area, in this case the background, any adjustment tool that I use in Photoshop is going to be restricted to that selection. So if I grab this slider in the middle and drag it to the right, you can see that I'm darkening the background significantly, but my subject in the foreground is being left completely alone. The quick selection tool is going to quickly become your very best friend when it's time to make complex selections.